In this tutorial, I will illustrate how to draw playing cards in Inkscape version 0.45. Okay, this is not my first screencast in Linux, but this is my first screencast in Linux for the screencasters at heathenx.org. So I hope everything works accordingly. Um, what we're going to start off doing is I need to draw four shapes. So we're going to draw a heart, a spade, a diamond, and a club and I'll, I'll start off with drawing a heart and I think probably the quickest way of doing that is to draw a triangle I'll convert this to a path and I'm gonna select both outside nodes and I'm gonna add a node in between okay now if I hold the shift key down and select both outside nodes again. I'll add a curvature and you can see that this almost gives us our heart, our heart shape. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is hold the control key down to get this kind of on a 30 degree angle and I'm going to pull these handles out just a little bit. I think that probably looks pretty good. Okay and that gives us our heart Next, I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to spin this upside down. Make this black, and I'm going to draw another triangle. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to align both of these together. And I'm going to push this up just a little bit. I think that looks pretty good and we're going to take this and we're going to do a union and I want to make this about the same height as my heart I'm just kind of fudge this a little bit I think that looks pretty good alright the next thing I'm going to do is draw a diamond and we can do that by drawing a square first and then picking our skew handle and then rotating it upright okay that gets us close now what I'm gonna do is uh, I can pull down a guide so I can kinda get my crosshairs here and I'll pull down the sides just a little bit and I'm just kinda eyeing this get it just about right and I think that looks pretty good when you're done you can delete your guides we're gonna make this red and I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down just a little bit there we go that probably looks pretty good okay and finally I'm gonna draw a club and I think I can do that by drawing a circle and what I'm going to do is, is pull that in just a little bit, just to give us just a little bit of a knob round. I'll duplicate this. And give us something about like that. I'll duplicate this again. And I'm going to pull this upright. That looks probably pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to take this. And I'll do a union on that. And I need to align these together. Swing that out of the way. I'm going to push this up. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to draw the stem. We'll do that by drawing another triangle. Looks pretty good. Take both of these things. We'll do a union. I'll align both of these together. probably looks pretty good all right now I'll take all this and do a union on that and we'll scale this down just a little bit and we'll make it black 
And I'm just going to kind of eye this a little bit to get the right size. I think that looks okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is take these and make these all just a little bit smaller. I don't need them quite so big here. I'm just going to eye this. Okay. Now, I'll get these out of the way. Now the next thing I'm going to do is actually draw the, the playing card portion. I can do that by drawing a rectangle. It probably looks pretty good. And we're going to put about a 12 pixel by 12 pixel radii around the whole card. Oops, do a little spot there. Okay, I'm going to make this card just gray to start with so you guys can see it. I'm going to duplicate this. I don't want to delete it. I want to duplicate it. I'm going to make this black. And I want to give this a blur effect of 2. I'll send this to the back. I'll make our card white again. And I'm going to take the whole thing and combine it together. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do is take the heart and align it onto the card. Do that with my align tool. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to select some text. Letter A. We'll go to our text dialog. Ooh, that's a little big. Move it back into the window here. And we'll go out and we'll pick something like a Times New Roman. And where are you? Here you are. There we go. I'm going to take this and skew it down just a little bit. Zoom in on this corner. Make this just a little bit smaller yet. There we go. Now, I'm going to take the heart and duplicate it. And we need to make them quite a bit smaller. Fit under there. There we go. Okay, now I need to make the text the same color. And I'm going to line the heart and the text. Okay, I think that probably looks pretty good. We'll take that group it together, zoom back out, I'm going to take this, duplicate it, we're going to slide it around and we're going to mirror it and we'll put the other one in that corner. Okay, and that looks pretty good and that's our first playing card. I'll take this and group that all together and we're going to move it to the side for now and I'll duplicate it. Take this and ungroup it, and we don't need the middle, and we don't need that corner. I'll take this, move it out to the front, and we're going to zoom back in on the corner. And I'm going to take each one of these, and just replace the heart with the spade, just a little bit smaller. We need to make our text black. I'll move that right under there. That looks pretty good. Align both of these again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a group there. Okay, take this whole thing and group it together. Slide this over here for now. Duplicate that, ungroup, and we'll do our diamond. I want to make sure our diamond's out front. Zoom back in on this corner. Ungroup this. Delete our spade. And we're going to shrink our diamond down just a little bit. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit more. Okay. Okay, we'll make our text red, 
bind these to back together again. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. We're going to take this and combine it. Or group it, I'm sorry. And finally, we'll do our last card. We'll duplicate this. Ungroup. Take our club, bring it over, bring it out front. Our diamond, scale our club down, something about right there. Make our text black again, do our align. Take this whole thing and we'll group that, get this out of the way. And we need to group the whole card again. Okay, now what I'm going to do, okay, I'm going to take this card, I'm going to hold my control key down, and I've got my document property set for 15 degrees. I need to push this behind. And I'm just going to slide it over and make a stack. Looks pretty good. We're going to take this one and we're going to rotate this 30 degrees. We're going to make sure that it's pushed to the back. And we'll put it in our stack over here. And finally, we'll take this one. Rotate this one around, send it to the back, and put it on the bottom. There we go. And now I can take the whole thing, group it together, push it in the middle, and there you have it. You have a, a stack of playing cards. Now you can use this for uh, any graphic project that you're working on or uh, maybe for a website or whatever. So thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.